Então, uma também.
win today. Here's the numbers courtesy of FanDuel. Novak Djokovic is the favorite to win it all, plus 170. He's looking for his 21st major title and a repeat of champion at Rolling Garros. Djokovic is the second biggest favorite on a Wednesday at minus 4,000 over Slovak Alex Mulkin. Carlos Alvarez is the biggest favorite in action at minus 4,500 against Albert Ramos Vanolas. Alcaraz is the second overall favorite to win the tournament behind Djokovic at plus 200. The third favorite at plus 390 is 13-time champion Rafa Nadal, who's only lost three of his 109 matches at Roland Garros all-time, with his last title coming in 2020. Alex Merrick is looking first major title. He's the ninth favorite at plus 3,800. Zverev is a minus 750 to beat Sebastian Baez. He's coming off a straight set victory in the first round. So Alex Zverev's match will be the second match of the day on court. Philippe Chatre, also this morning, Novak Djokovic. He's on and one at approximately 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, later on, Carlos Alcaraz and then Rafa Nadal will play in the night. which will be on TSN 3 at 2.45. On TSN.ca and the TSN app, that's where you'll see all the matches from Court Philly Tetra, Suzanne Longland, Simone Matthew, Court 7, and also Court 14. They're serving. That's on court 14. But other people are terrific. Court or down into the far end of the grounds here at Roland Garros. And of course, it's Wednesday, so we can't curve. This is the second round already. <laughs> already, <laughs> or just it feels like a long time when it's over three days. It's very rare, I feel like, in the slams as well, that it does happen. We have a lot of that just makes the first round seem like it's fun for a long time. It feels real. There's on set. Until you take the court again on Wednesday. Sunset. 
that it is vulnerable when she's moving. She's actually quite fast, but it seems like sometimes she just doesn't know what to do when she's she's moving far from side to side. Liam Bates there, the head of women's tennis at the LTA, who's helping Brad Kondu through this tournament. because Sasnovich can hit it a little bit harder from the forehand and of course if she gets a short ball it's going to run around but generally speaking her backhand is the more solid shot it is the one she prefers and I don't know she will we'll may see a tactical change as the match goes on
something about it. where she, she really goes for it. All right, closing in on nine minutes. You're going to the first push. Two break points saved. starting so nicely in Paris, you can see very, you know, the wind is the one question as we watch. There is uh, virtually no chance of rain today. A big difference from the weather last week when the players who yeah. came here to prepare, it's a good 20, 25 degrees warmer, makes conditions so much lighter. All of a sudden, these types of days, a little bit better because we don't have the rain, but it, it's still pretty, pretty cold and pretty heavy for these players. It will get better as the day goes on as it starts to heat up but pretty cold courtside right now yeah when it's when it's cooler like this as well i feel like the the ball just doesn't fly through the air as fast so you really have to put all your power into the shots the ball doesn't bounce off so if you put top spin on the ball it doesn't go up as high so it just makes it more difficult for a player like emma who likes when the ball flies through the air faster. The hotter conditions are definitely better for her. And the drop shots don't bounce up. <laughs> it is sketching onto that. Oh, the Red is 
not really hit a heavy ball. It was their first round match for the majority of it. Her backhand was averaging 60 miles per hour. Today, the both shots are in the mid-60s. Pretty low compared to a lot of the other players. Sasnovich averaging five miles per hour faster off both wings. And in heavier condition, that ball is just going to sit there even more for Sasnovich. playing it the other day when it's a little rainy the court is heavy because at least now the court is dry so that's not an issue the, the moist doesn't come onto the ball so that's at least good but still when it's this cool it's just really feels like you you even have to put the tension in your racket a little down as well usually Take your point, Caroline, to the whole field. Of the ones you're looking for to challenge Fiontech, who may benefit from a slightly, if it's not wet, but slightly cooler? Well, I think also this is where experience comes in. Here she's off the court. She has that perfectly. That's two great backhand angle winners in this game. The kids, uh, after saving two in her service game, now first chance for Radicano. John Isner broke serve on Gregoire Barrer, the wildcard player from the men. Big case closes out the first set. Quick work through. Isner, just 28 minutes. John takes the first set. Small Matt 2 will be the court where Coco Goff will play Allison Van Hoytbank. That match will follow Isner's Barrer. Coco Goff, Ted. 
two would be one. So let's get yeah. the candles and a little heavier. A little heavier, a little cooler. My other pick would be whoever comes through that Safri and a Samova little section. Uh, I think both okay. those players could play pretty well in, in cooler, heavier conditions. Uh, how about, how, oh, go ahead, Carol. I think on the Samova, she really hits a heavy ball. I think she she could definitely do Safri sometimes mentally. <laughs> We're talking condition. Halep is a former champion. How does this fare for her? It's not great. Halep is, she likes when the ball moves from her racket a little bit faster. She likes to work with the ball. And what I what I mean by that is to use the angles, et cetera. And that just gets more difficult when it's cooler like this. this year in heavy conditions if she plays her a game which we haven't seen in quite some time but if she were to somehow get on a roll or start to get some comfort with her serve she would be one in heavy conditions that would be that would fare pretty well Sloane Stevens, she said she loves to play here. She likes when it's slower. She has the power. The racket has speeds off the forehand. A lot of balls down. It could favor her for sure. Go is still here. I just want the title. Well, so I think the conditions don't really matter. <laughs> swing hard in case I hit it. <laughs> I never like that because you, you don't know what to expect. So you're standing there and you never really get warm. You never really have a chance to play your game. And you really feel like it's on their racket. Sounds never sure with a chance to get a break back. Six of ten. That's a fantastic number for Red Hanu. Yeah, for Red Hanu, defending second serve means fighting off that first shot. Moving well, anticipating. Right there, a little higher off to the backhand, gave her the opportunity to flatten out the shot before it's the air.
and we can see here, it comes from the slide, she's not very far off the court, so to be able to get that angle on, on this shot is extremely difficult. Yeah. Very well executed. Difference in service games there. Brad Cotto's saved three break points. She's had to do this today. Will it be uh, another fight for Red Econo if she's going to hold here? Last two service games had to fight off break points here in level 30. Tough in, uh, we talked about these conditions also. She does not get free points on her serve. So she's got to work incredibly hard every service game.
you know, top 10 and, and winning Miami as well.
winner right there. Well, the Cowboys kind of face this a bunch. It's already the seventh break point of the match for Sostovich. <laughs> The reason we've 
been supporting tennis so passionately for so long is that inside these lines you're not so much facing adversaries as you are peering through a mirror, trying to outdo one another than yourself. Channel's coverage of Roland Garros is presented by Raymond James. Wealth management, banking, and capital markets. Learn more at RaymondJames.com. Welcome back to day four in Paris. And a reminder, if you don't already have it, Roland Garros is the perfect time to get tennis channel clock. Get uninterrupted match coverage, 14 courts a day, two media rooms, watch whatever match you want. You can be the producer at home, go to mypcplus.com. Going on right now, a lot of action. Andy Gerber just getting underway on Fort Police Shop 3A. You've been watching Emirati Otto on Suzanne Longman. Bob is there up two sets to love. Right now, and still it's OJ Aliasima Fagel in the first over on court seven. As we bring you back on to our draft team staff with John and Chenda and Steve. And we've got a lot of action to get to, a lot of Americans in action today. You can see all of that on Tennis Channel Plus. What are you looking forward to, Chenda? I'm looking forward to uh, Sloan Stevens against Serrano Perse. I think that's going to be a terrific match between, between two players who have been top players. Perse is one of the seeds in the event. Stevens, of course, a major champion, has found a little bit of form in her first match. And remember, she's in that section where the number two seed, Craig Chikama, lost. So there's some real opportunity here for whoever can get to this match. It should be a good one. Both been to a final here before. Certainly knows how to play her best on the clay. How about you, John? You beat a four-time major winner for the second straight major. What is your prize this morning? Amanda Anastomova, who beat Naomi Osaka. It's Donna Vekic, a former top 20 player, but a player who's really struggling this year is Vekic. He had to qualify. So for Anastomova, young American has played deep here before three years ago. Nice resurgence for her, and she gets a bit of a reward playing a veteran qualifier today in Vekic. I think Amanda will win. Played last year, Amanda was able to win that one, so all of that action available on Tennis Channel Plus. And we send you back to Suzanne Longer with Ted, Lindsay, and Tara. Great, thanks, Steve and Radicanu. They're being pinned backwards by Sostovich. Double break. I'm trying to see if she can keep this momentum going. Two out of eight in this side. 
thing at this point, it just looks like Rebecca Connor is looking for unforced errors. And she's hoping that Fast Edge will cool down a little bit. But I'd really like her to be proactive. And, and as you were saying, Lizzie, move Fast Edge around. That's, that's her weak point. We've had a couple of great winners that towards the end of the first set hard and off the court from Alfreda Connor's racket. Right now they seem to be sitting up all over the bench. Oh, that was Points 
so maybe just mixing it up, giving a different look, making Sasnovich think about the first serve a little bit more would be great. really well. That's why I like Brother Connor to just do something different. Because right now, things are not going in her favor. Students have such a, a more lively arm off the racket of Zasnovich right now, whether it's the forehand, the serve, when she held in the, her first service game. Sometimes you gotta refresh to be fresh. Cut! You missed your mark. Mark. <laughs> 
Welcome to the Subway Eat Press Refresh. You found the camera there. Great. Check out the new... Okay, cut. Check out the new Maplewood smoked bacon and ham sandwich and the Great Canadian Club. Plus new ingredients like... Like Canadian farm-raised deli style turkey and ham. Was that lettuce? Subway. Eat fresh. Refresh. Yeah, a little higher. When you have magic, I can see the gesture of the Subway. I see a great future for you. Great adventures, success in your business, and a million rules. You can read all that from my hand? Yes, but not from this one. From the other. Red Bull gives you wings. I'd like to make a toast to better day pad. She's been in this position many times before. She's beaten a lot of tough players. 
she's not scared when she gets in a position where she can win. And so Ryder kind of really has to to do something different in this third set. difference in where she stands to return first and second. Well behind the baseline to return first and trying to get a little bit more aggressive with the second serve return. It's a great depth on that return. Gives you an advantage immediately. Even if Sasha was able to get that ball over the net, you're still here in control of the point. Thank you. 
looking away from her really quickly.
into the locker room getting ready and you know, glanced over at his brother and they both have to wipe away tears, you know, knowing this could be the last time going out on shot tray, last match. So he looked over at his coach Terry at one point and the same thing, he was wiping up tears. He finally said, I guess I just go on my own because it was all just so much to handle. kids were here yesterday as a wife. It was really special. Parents, we Parents. talked about it, really shied away from sitting front and center at his matches. She's worth on that lot. Her coach and her father in the box. to go away from the serves that have been giving her a lot of three points. The serves down the middle on the first side and then out wide here, she's been slicing it a lot more.
starting to dictate play a little bit more. Getting a little closer to that baseline. Good to hear that they're really getting into this match now. just continue in the same direction but maybe you should just try to play it a little tricky She's doing it. She only missed three first serves, but 
not winning nearly as many points on that first serve. 72 miles per hour was that last serve. Yep.
Radicon has done an excellent job early in this third of not just sitting back and watching what's happening. I mean, she's got to go after this win.
There's no way we can have confidence that's sad. You also said there's no way your brother will be staying with us for more than two weeks. <laughs> You've got a good point. Get that taco with more salsa. Right. Taco night doesn't have to be perfect to be perfect. Any car can take you perfect. But mine does so much more. into one efficient stroke for a shave as quick and easy as washing your face. Alright, on a court 14, Andrea Petkovic pushing Azarenka into a second set tie break. But it is Vika that is able to have the lead and...
Oh, we told you doubles are going on. How about that team? That is, it was great to see Taylor Tennyson looked just to be in wonderful shape yesterday back at singles and playing that doubles with Madison Keys. Yeah, it's really great to see her back after giving birth to her son just over a year ago. And uh, it's good to see her back also playing on the doubles. And obviously, Madison Keys won yesterday over two mat two day match hard to say here uh, but yeah it's great to see them uh, play together and just playing well with others Del Caracano the uh, hope of uh, getting a little momentum going stringing some mad points that is about to go First set, she had a lot of great points, opportunities, but didn't get them, and then she really stepped up in that second and third set, played very aggressively, had a purpose, served well, returned well, so I wish we had seen a little bit more from Rabbit Tana in this match. Yeah, it's a tough day for Emma. Just didn't have the right strategy those last couple of sets, and credit staff to the 45 winners to 24 yeah, yeah, on yeah, court. Yeah, 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 the complete opposite for Emma, yeah, only 7 yeah, yeah, winners yeah, and 33 yeah, yeah, on court. Just wasn't able to dictate play, wasn't able to move set to the around, and now she'll leave here. And Sarah's a bit disappointed because there was some opportunity for her here to get some more ranking points and maybe make a bit of a run here. Back to the grass. Well, now for Ronikanu, the Raymond James draw, and unless we have a seismic change here, it's going to be Kerber. Kerber's up to set to break in her match right now. That will be the opponent for Sasnovich. That could be an interesting match because Kerber was down match points in that first set, and now he's playing with much money, so she has nothing to lose, and even though play is not her favorite surface. But this match is coming up next. Yeah, it'll be coming up shortly on Prince's side match two. Simone at two, there'll be Coco Goff and Madison Van Oyten. 
still have to finish the John Isner match out there. And again, TC Plus, by the way, is all the courts, all the matches. Everything on your command right here it was the command of Sasevich for two sets. She is through to begin our day. We're just beginning a tennis game. It is said victory belongs to the most obstinate. Words that ring quite true on this play. Here, only those who contain the surface and slide their way trace after trace can hope to leave an indelible mark. Welcome to Roland Garros. Ugo Calabelli 
and then trying to reach the third round and of course second it is OJ Aliasino trying to be the first man to make the third round. Canada's at home. Recipients. Oh. 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 Oh